Hey everybody, welcome to Sweet Gear Videos. These are my sweets in this little cow bowl. You can't read it, but uh, it says moo inside there. That's how you know it's a cow. And this is my gear. So <laughs> this is uh, uh, more of a live sound tutorial demo tip trick today um, and this is uh, this is talking about monitors and front of house PA working uh, against each other or together so obviously if you're in a huge room or if you are uh, working with a band that's all on in your monitors this doesn't apply but we're talking about small to medium sized uh, venues and uh, live monitors on stage so um, this applies to any instrument, any sound uh, that's coming off the stage, really, um, coming back through the, the monitor rig. And I'll basically just uh, show you this little thing that I got set up here. So um, let's pop over to Pro Tools. And I've got an acoustic guitar here, and this is what it sounds like. Nice and simple. So you bring that up in the PA, guy on stage starts playing, you bring that up. It sounds, sounds fantastic. Um, you get it all dialed in, EQ'd and everything, and then you start bringing it up in the wedge or the monitor guy starts bringing it up. However, and then this is what it sounds like. This channel down here is the, uh, the monitor channel. I've simulated that, so here's what you hear. It's fine. He wants more, more, more. what you're left with guys happy performers happy but now all of a sudden your guitar sounds like crap so what's happening well here we go we're going to use this little guy as a monitor so i'm going to play some pink noise out of it i'm sure you can all see where this is going but check this out so this is what the wedge sounds like okay and this is what the wedge sounds like when it's facing away from you because as an audience member or the engineer the monitors are pointed 180 degrees, right? So here's what the performer's hearing. Here's what you hear. Right? It's horrible. Because of course, low frequencies are more omnidirectional than the high frequencies. So all the mids and the highs are hitting him right in the face and the lows, but the lows are the only thing that's spilling out to the rest of the room and bleeding and destroying your mix. So um, I work regularly in a really small, um, intimate room with really low ceilings. Uh, it's only 400 people and packed in really tight. And um, for the most part, we use the same wedges. They're JBL 15-inch monitors. And, um, and I've just found the area that they tend to ring the most off the back of the cabinet. So you can do this for your monitor, uh, whatever you're using. Or if it's a different monitor every day, you can sit in front of it or sit behind it technically, sit in the house and listen to the monitors and find out that range that they're you know, screaming in, and then just dip that out of your, uh, of your front of house channel. So if we listen to this, uh, wedge channel here, I'll just solo that. And this is roughly what, um, what the back of the monitors that I'm used to using sounds like. It's basically nothing under like 800 Hertz, roughly, um, and just kind of wonky sounding. So you can take your, uh, your acoustic you know, DI for front of house, and we'll have an EQ on it, something similar to this. And you can just find that frequency range that uh, that sounds similar to that ringy, boomy boxiness. So you can boost and just kind of move it around a little bit if you want. Um, careful to not let it take off into feedback in the house, of course, while you're doing this. But if you, if you can find that tubby, tubby sound, so let's solo out the acoustic now, and I'm going to just listen to that. sounds like the crap that I'm hearing off the back of the wedge. So if I dip that way out, I can pull that way, way, way back. Now when I combine the two, it sounds a lot more respectable than this. That's without my EQ. And that's back in. 
so it cleans it up a lot. This works great on vocals, uh, works great on acoustic instruments that have a lot of low mid stuff to it anyway. Um, low mid stuff, that's a technical term. I'll be quizzing you all on that later. Um, but that's just a, a nice way to kind of let the monitors do some work for you, let them work with you uh, constructively in the house instead of destructively ruining your whole mix. Um, that is a really popular way to kind of clean things up and make things sound nicer for everybody. Um, also, since that same sound is going most likely to multiple wedges on stage, that is kind of uniform across the room because uh, sometimes there's wedges pointing in different directions and it can kind of all even out and make everybody happy. So that is all I've got for today. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all the youtube -y things, uh, send me an email. I've got uh, some links below and um, hope to hear from you all soon. Cheers.